Hey, good day, hi, welcome. So I got a load of bricks. <coughs> Today's gonna be a bit of a shorter day. <coughs> it's hot as hell. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be cutting the grass at the, my uh, last stop of the day. So I just went to there, to the second stop. <coughs> Had some patio bricks to pull up. I have a hunch I'm gonna be getting another batch of patio bricks. Which I have a lot of guys that I know that do landscaping stuff, so I could probably offload these bricks to them Half price is new or something like that And uh, I'm sure they'll have a client That will want them and I'll just sell them the whole batch for you know Maybe I make an extra 200 bucks off of the, the bricks on top of the 20 bucks an hour removing them, right? And if that's the case I win and I win and my buddies win because I help them out with a client saving them money, saving their clients money. Or they charge their, you know, depending on how they run their business, they might charge their client full price and they got the bricks for half price so they, they pocket more. Some guys will do that. I wouldn't do that. I'd always be forthcoming about stuff like that. <coughs> Just because that brings me to today's topic your most important asset as a self-employed person <coughs> is it your skill level no that's probably your second or third most important asset is it the tools you have no that's probably your sec your second or third be debatable uh, most valuable asset no, your most valuable asset as a self-employed person in particular is very, 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 very important. And that is your reputation. Cyclists, okay, they're not too bad. The other guy there, there's one guy, he's always out right in the middle. Uh, no, they, they, they should be staying over the lot, like... You know, like, I'm glad they have the flasher on and stuff like that, but it's like, you are on a country highway. <laughs> I gotta take this corner really easy because I got about 800 pounds, 600 or 800 pounds of bricks in the back there. Can't tell with this thing, it's got five leaf springs in it, eh? So it's just like, it just rides smoother when there's more weight in it. And you get more traction and you, you tap into that Hemi power a little more. These Hemi engines always work best under load. You, you'll notice that, they always seem more, they build their compression a bit more or whatever under load uh, they like to pull uh, but anyway yeah your reputation okay let's say you do a phenomenal job for your client uh, 10 clients whatever whatever you got right I got six clients and then I got rolling clients that you know come to me from time to time and I do a good job each time with them right well, maybe one time out of, let's say you work for somebody 10 times, you do a perfect job 10 times in a row, doesn't matter what the job is, right? You, they, they, people might only hear about that one time you did the really good job for them, right? Because they just take it for granted that you do a good job for them. So that gets around a little bit. Over time, it builds up your reputation and holy crap, look at the smoke in that mirror. <laughs> I pity anybody driving behind me. Uh, but let's say you do a hundred jobs and out of the hundred jobs you did one job really half-assed and lousy everybody hears about that one job oh my god look at, that's why I'm not cutting the grass thing I don't know if the camera's picking that out look at the mirror like if there's anybody behind me they freaking hate me right now I can't see nothing back there that's nuts that's nuts that is dry. That is dry. Oh my God. That's scary dry. You know, it's 29 degrees, so it's got to be 30 something with the Humidex. So yeah, your reputation, bad news travels fast, right? Uh, good news travels, bad news travels faster. So your reputation is more, your most important asset. And if you don't uh, take that seriously, you could be dooming yourself to, you know, like you're, you're committing yourself to failure, is what you're doing. So whatever job you do, if you tell somebody you're gonna be somewhere at a certain time, you be there at a certain time. I know things happen, but be reliable. 
you don't get it things happen but if you're going to be there and you're not sure if you're going to be there don't be one of those guys that i'm going to do 10 things in one day no plan out one or two things in a day that you know you can get done and just tell people hey you know what i got i got this guy ahead of you and this guy ahead of you if i can do it i'll try if not i'll see where i can squeeze you in you know leave it open-ended don't say yeah i'll be there for sure because too many guys do that right and they don't realize how it hurts them in the long run. You tell somebody you're gonna be somewhere and you don't do it once, twice, three times, they'll, they'll get somebody else. You know, like it's like, yeah, I, every time I ask that guy, I'll get somebody else. You know what I mean? So if you can't do it, just tell him you can't do it. Say, I can't do it because there's too much dust on the road and I can't, oh my goodness, I can't see nothing behind there. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> That's funny, but it's crazy. But anyway, yeah, so your reputation, always put that as your priority. There you go. Have a great day.